Hey everyone, we're back in Wichita picking up two Romeo Foxtrot. It's been down for its big uh, engine one and two uh, inspections. So uh, it's been all uh, full steam ahead here working on the airplane. It's been down for about a week. Everything's been on track and uh, we're here to pick it up right on time. We're at the Tektron Service Center here in Wichita. There's about 30 airplanes here, it's crazy. And I'm here with Rob Johnston, who's the best, the senior CSR who's been basically managing the airplane as, with all the mechanics and technicians here at the service center. And Rob, just love to introduce you, but also uh, for you to talk a little bit about the airplane and what's uh, gone on the past few days. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Rob Johnson. As Max mentioned, uh, thanks for the introduction. Of course. Always. <laughs> Always. Um, anyway, uh, what we did during the maintenance visit was the check ones, check twos. Uh, which are essentially engine inspections to make sure that the engine is wearing properly. Uh, we pull items like igniters, fuel filters, oil filter, um, chip collectors as well um, to make sure to check for any magnetic particles um, to make sure that the aircraft engines are operating uh, efficiently um, and as well as uh, to the best performance possible for the aircraft. And then once you do all the inspections, everything gets completed and gets signed off. And then you guys take it outside yep. and do engine runs and yep. checks and stuff like that? Yep. Uh, we, we complete those uh, engine runs and leak checks to ensure that when we deliver the, product, uh, the aircraft back to the customer, uh, that it is safe, uh, there are no leaks, um, and ready to go. Wow. And for the engine one and two inspections, how many man hours do you think is spent on doing um, uh, approximately 10 hours in total okay. uh, for the left-hand engine and also the right-hand engine. Okay, so it's quite a bit. Well, wow. yep. and there's what, four or five hangers? How many hangers are there? Uh, the at, the, at the Wichita Service Center, there are four uh, active uh, hangers as far as where we work on aircraft. Uh, we do have three paint, paint hangers as well, um, and we love to see you sometime. Wow, well everyone, let's fly to Prescott, Arizona. That's going to be the flight today. All right, everyone, welcome on board. The plane is all done with its maintenance inspections and we're ready to rock and roll. We're heading to Prescott, Arizona today. So welcome on board. We just got pulled out by the fantastic team here at the Tekshon Service Center in Wichita and uh, got some storms we're gonna have to dodge around on the departure out of here. So let's uh, let's go. We got about a, a nice little window. So we got a little time, but Let's fire up these engines and get going. Got some fuel, we got 4,800 pounds of Jet A on board and uh, let's go flying. It's so all the stuff we did beforehand, just double checking. Nothing's moved, Rakers are in. All right, here we go. Starting at number one, left-hand engine first. There's N2. And use the fuel. Ignition. Good oil pressure, temps coming up. Everything's staying in the green. And the relay's out. Once the engine starts, that generator then helps recharge the battery. The amps go down quite quickly. And here we go, clear right. So the second starts a generator assisted start. N2's coming up nice and quick, introduce the fuel. There's ignition, fuel flow, oil pressure. Nice start, beautiful. All right. Greg, you'll be proud of me. Going to old school today, getting the clearance, and here we go. Wichita clearance, good evening, citation to Romeo Foxtrot, clearance to Prescott, please. Citation to Romeo Foxtrot, Wichita clearance, clear to the Prescott Airport as filed, maintain 5,000, expect flight level 400, 10 minutes after departure, departure frequency 126.7, squawk 2123. Citation to Romeo Fox shots clear to Prescott as filed, maintain 5,000. We'll expect level 400 in 10 minutes. Departures 1267, squawk 2123. 
Citation 2, Romeo Foxtrot, read back is correct, is hotel's current, and um, are you guys able, uh, like, direct fixes and stuff? So I see your slant, oh, just want to make sure you're able to direct fixes in case that's all they're able to get you down the way. Oh, yeah, we're slant Lima, and uh, we do have uh, the ATIS for to Romeo Foxtrot, ATIS Hotel, thank you. Citation 2, Romeo Fox, thanks, sir, and tower frequency when you're ready to taxi. Oh, we'll go to tower for taxi, thank you, good day, Romeo Fox. All right. Tower for taxi. We love it. All right. So we're ICT. This is the Wichita VOR. And then we're on J134. J134 to the Drake VOR. And then direct Prescott Airport. We're going to 5,000 feet. Tower, hello. Citation to Romeo Foxtrot. Textron Service Center. Edis Hotel. Taxi, please. 32 Romeo Foxtrot, Wichita Tower, and 19 left, taxi Mike. 19 left via Mike to Romeo Foxtrot. Clear left, clear right, let's go. We are out of here. So yeah, we're picking up the airplane from its big uh, engine one and two inspections. So the uh, Textron Service Center did an amazing job. Everything was on time, on schedule. So big thank you to Rob and the whole team there at the Service Center. And uh, heading to uh, Prescott, Arizona, but uh, trying to get out of here before these uh, thunderstorms start pushing through again. We did delay the departure by a few hours. There was a nasty line of storms that came through and uh, now we're making our way uh, out of here between a couple uh, systems coming in. All right, clear left, clear right. One on the left via Mike. Oh, two Fox, there's a large line of moderate to heavy precipitation from southwest of Eisenhower to northeast. Straight up from the runway, you'll experience an area of it at about one, two miles. It looks like you go around it with an initial course to the southeast. Do you want to turn on the runway and take a look at it and, and decide how you want it to go, or do you have a plan? Yeah, our plan was to, uh, to initially go to the south, southeast to climb, and, uh, and then kind of go around it on the, uh, on the south side. So that was sort of our plan. Roger. All right, one nine left is up here. That's that wind. Whew. Foxtrot, are you ready? Yes, sir, we're ready to go. We're two-minute Foxtrot, turn left heading 140, one on the left, clip takeoff, wind 19021, gust 30. Okay, uh, clip takeoff, 140 heading to Romeo Foxtrot, one on the left, thanks. Left turn 140, we're clip takeoff, one on the left, clear right, clear left, let's go. All right. One on our left checks. Take off. Take off power is set and achieved. Two good engines. Airspeed is alive both sides. Definitely not checks. B1, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. V2, plus 10 knots, flaps up. Yaw damper flight level change. 400 feet, heading select. Climb power. Traffic, traffic. Autopilot. Go to Romeo Foxtrot, contact port, drive a safe flight. Hey, thanks so much. Uh, we'll see you at Romeo Foxtrot. Start getting that weather radar warmed up. Departure, good evening, citation to Romeo Fox shot 3700, climbing to 5000 on a 140 heading. November 2, Romeo Fox shot, shot departure radar contact climb. And, uh, climb maintain 1 5000. Climb and maintain 1 5 15000 to Romeo Fox shot. Okay, 15000 is set.
Yeah, that stuff off the right there is nasty. We're going to stay on this 140 heading. We're going to climb a bit, and then we'll pick our way to the south around it. Uh, station 2, Romeo Foxtrot, contact AM 30 Center, 12740. Alright, uh, 278, Romeo Foxtrot. Hey, everyone, it's 270. Have a great night, we'll see ya. You too. Kansas City Center, citation 2, Romeo Foxtrot, good evening, 9000, climbing to 15000. We're on a 140 heading, uh, deviating for weather until we get a bit higher. Hey, number uh, 2, Romeo Foxtrot, Roger, climb maintain level 230. Climb maintain level 230, Romeo Fox. That's right, we, you know, we didn't need to uh, put on, a, you know, 3,000 pounds of fuel, but uh, it's, we knew there was going to be some weather. We're going to have to deviate around and all that sort of stuff, so much better to be on the safe side. And two Romeo Foxtrot, deviation south, the course are approved, and just went able direct to uh, Drake. Okay, uh, deviation south are approved, appreciate that, and went able direct Drake to Romeo Foxtrot. All right, engine anti-ice, which is coming on. So I'm going to split the screen here, and we're going to put the Weberator on here, so then we have two sources. Alright, cool. Alright, engine and TI switches can come off. It's flying uh, really nicely so far after its uh, maintenance uh, checks and inspections. It, they do, as Rob talked about earlier, right, they do uh, ground runs and leak checks and all that stuff, but uh, this is actually the first time it's being flown since uh, it's had its maintenance performed, so very, very important that uh, you're obviously watching the engine instruments, you're watching things uh, even more cautiously after it's had some, uh, some maintenance done to the airplane. So, so right now my plan is just to get climb, see a bit, so I can actually see what's going on, and, uh, and then we'll make the turn to the uh, to the right. Right now, on this heading, we're, we're clear skies. So worst case, we fly this for 50 miles, we make a right turn, and uh, head towards Drake. But uh, I don't think that's going to be necessary at all. And you two know. Romeo Foxtrot, contact Kansas City Center, 127.62, 2762. 2762 to Romeo Foxtrot. Good night. Bye-bye. All right, 18 standards and standards. Southwest 1340. Yeah, we're good to make the turn. Southwest 1340. Southwest 1340. Hey, Kansas City, how you doing? Citation to Romeo Foxtrot 195. Climbing to 230. We're making that right turn uh, to the southwest uh, when able to direct Drake. For two Romeo Foxtrot, Kansas City, climbing to 300. I'm maintaining level 300 to Romeo Foxtrot. We're going to turn to about a two. 30 heading, and then we'll see how that looks. Thank you. Envoy 35 at 0 feet, contact KMC Center 1 at 2. It's always great when air traffic control and the pilots, everything kind of just vibes. And uh, they're obviously doing the best that they can do, we're doing the best we can do, and it's just teamwork, right? It's really, really good. Need some sunglasses on. Whew, the sun's bright. Southwest 500, center maintain level 270. All right, let's see here. So you got a nice gap right in between that these two clouds. That's kind of where, in the same direction we're going. So that looks uh, really good to me. So air traffic control instruction was, you know, deviate south, of course approved, and then when able direct Drake. So that's what we're kind of doing right now. So everyone's doing well. Um, Definitely got uh, excited to put this video out so you, everyone can kind of see a little bit of behind the scenes of the service center, what it's like, and also some of the uh, the cool stuff that uh, you can bring, obviously, used airplanes uh, into the service center and get all fixed up and everything's good. So always nice going back to Wichita, as I mentioned on other videos. I did my initial training in the Citation in Wichita, so I always have a, s a special place in my heart for Wichita. All right, so going up to 300. We're heading in somewhat the right direction now. For two Romeo Foxtrot, climbing 
I'm going to maintain flight level 400, turn me up on strut. All right, 40's coming up. So it's kind of interesting. So Wichita Airport is actually right off our right wing right now. And we're at 28,000 feet. So deviating to the south, you know, getting that climb going. Kind of the plan that, you know, I'd made up in my head when I was looking at the weather in the, uh, at the service center and just kind of waiting and trying to figure out a plan. And so, so far, it's worked out pretty nicely. For two Romeo Fox track, I maintain total three six zero. Okay, we'll stop at three six zero citation to Romeo Fox track. Thirty six. If you're on, uh, if you're on Instagram, uh, I do have an Instagram account, Citation Max, and the number one Citation Max one on Instagram. Post you know daily content, daily vlogs. Uh, it's a lot of fun, kind of seeing where I am on more of an up to date basis. So definitely, if you're on Instagram, go uh, go check it out and uh, give it a follow. It's a lot of fun. Really enjoy it. Right, Wi-Fi is on. We love the GoGo Wi-Fi. Make sure that is on. Cool. All right, so I think we're gonna we're in good shape now. We got around our thunderstorms. We're looking great. We're gonna make a right turn here in a few miles and then uh, head towards the Drake VOR. We'll be on the ground there in Prescott in about two hours and twenty five minutes or so. So, so we'll talk to everyone in a little bit. All right, we're back, making our descent into Prescott, about 100 miles out, 19 minutes. Had to deviate around some, a couple more build-ups the past hour and a half or so, but been, uh, been a nice flight so far. Some more showers, actually some snow showers uh, around the area, but the weather in Prescott looks uh, quite nice. We'll get the Adas here in a second, but trying to pick it up for a while, but... Uh, Wind out of the northwest, 10 miles, scattered clouds, a little chilly, 8 degrees Celsius, and the dew point's 3 degrees, so the temp dew point spread's uh, a little bit tight, so the air is uh, it's pretty saturated. So let's see if we can get the this here. Thanks, Rich. R3-3-4, elevated guard, that is going to a left location, not painted. Thanks, we have closed at military operations. November. Okay, we got November. Press our mission November 0153. Wind 260 at 11 guest 14. Visibility 10. 2.3, Okay, November. We're doing 20 watts. Sounds good. All right, let's go through some precip or some clouds. So we'll put the engine anti-ice switches on. So air traffic control gave us a pilot discretion to 16,000. So we're just uh, V-navving down. What I basically did is I built in a Basically, a, a fake waypoint 10 miles from the airport, and I said I want to cross that 3,000 AGL, and it, it calculates what 3,000 AGL is, and we'll be nav to that. So. And when you're able to shoot up to Window Rock, contact Albuquerque Center on 124.32 at this time. Okay, descent checks, windshield defog is on. We got the defog on and the windshield bleed air switches that's helping the uh, cockpit not get all. Uh, Fogged up. Pressurization is checked. Altimeters are good. Exterior lights are good. Everything's looking good. We'll get the uh, landing data in. Predicted weight. We're going to be landing 2 1 left. Put up the METAR. So we got uh, 7,600 feet available. And all we need is 2,800 feet. Accepted. Crew briefing, uh, visual two on left. We parking at Cutter Aviation. To land two on left and we'll exit Public Delta. Cross three zero per air traffic control instruction and then taxi to the FBL. Avionics, good. Flight insurance check. Fuel transfer is off. No packs, seat seat belts. I'm all buckled up. And that is uh, it, messages normal. For two Romeo Foxtrot, contact Phoenix Approach 133.57. 3357, citation to Romeo Foxtrot. Have a great night. We'll see you. Be good. 
Phoenix approach. Good evening, citation to Romeo Fox Shark level 230, descending to 16,000 November at Prescott. Two on Fox uh, Phoenix approach. Good evening, expect the virtual approach only two one left. Uh, you can descend at pilot's discretion to maintain one at zero ten thousand. All right, thanks so much. Two one left of pilot's discretion to one zero ten thousand. Citation to Romeo Fox Shark. So we'll put in the ILS for two one left, just just so we have that. And that's just we're going to do the visual, but have it all backed up, which is always good. Load that up. Cool. Kind of setting yourself up for a perfect left base entry, kind of on the left hand side of runway two on left. And that's one thing when you go into atmospheres that are obviously pretty humid in southern Florida or just a very moist atmosphere, uh, you have to be in the CJ3 Plus because we do not have a heated windshield uh, compared to the CJ4 that does have a heated windshield, which is awesome. Um, we have to manage these sort of things and stay ahead of it using the defog, which basically just blows air onto the windshield, the windshield the anti-ice switches, which is trying to shoot hot to bleed air onto the windshield, all things to help prevent it fogging up. Because when the airplane's sitting up at 45, 43,000 feet, 40,000 feet, whatever it might be, um, if the plane gets cold soaked and when it starts getting into warmer atmosphere, uh, it starts to get condensation and it starts fogging up. So um, that's the one thing in the three plus. You just have to be aware of and stay ahead of it. And just uh, think about because if you don't, you can start a descent and you'll be at 5,000 feet. You know, it's all fogged up, and so it's just very important to kind of stay ahead of that. But if you do, it's not a problem at all. It's all, all good. The good thing with the windshield anti-ice switches also is if we don't have obviously windshield wipers on the CJ3 Plus. What can happen is, so when it's oh, raining... Room, Fox, I just verify you got November for Prescott. Yes, sir, we got November at Prescott, Jeremy Fox. Thank you. Um, when it's raining and stuff and there's water on the windshield, put the uh, windshield anti-ice switches, uh, the bleed air switches on, give it a little bit of uh, power, and uh, it blows the, the rain away, which is pretty cool. So It's kind of like our version of windshield wipers. All right, we're going to go off VNAV now. We're just going to do a nice little VS descent, 1,500 feet per minute. Beautiful evening, wow. Put the wing inspection light on, so that's to verify if we have any ice on the on the wing, on the leading edge of the wing at night, because we can't see if there's... We don't have the light on, and no, nope, there's nothing. So being a good IFR-rated pilot here and a jet pilot, we'll have all the frequencies lined up. So we have tower set to go. It's going to be next. We have ground set up. So when we land, you don't have to worry about frequencies and all that stuff, 1,000 to go. And that's what that sound means, that ding. I know a few people have asked questions about it, but uh, that sound, it means it's 1,000 to go to a selected altitude, which we've set in the alt select. So 10,000, if we have selected there at 11,000 feet, we'll have uh, that ding, and that's uh, alerting us 1,000 feet to go. But, uh, but yeah, so. Station two room, Fox and Advisor, and you're able to get to field in sight to 12 o'clock, one nine miles. You know, there's a big old cloud layer right in front of us, two room, Fox. Station two room, Fox and Roger, just sitting at 9,100. That's the lowest I can go, 9,100. Okay, 9,100, here we go, two room, Fox drive. All right, we might have to shoot the ILS. Let's give this a brief here. The frequency is 108.5. Okay, approach series 522 kilo off uh, the uh, Prescott. We'd like to return. Inbound to the course ILS is 208. Left. Heading to two Roman Fox, I turn right heading 270, set you up for about an eight mile straight in. Okay, 270 heading, here we go, two Roman Fox. Um, Dispatch, two off DA, our decision altitude is 5177, that is checked, 5177. We gotta go miss, it's a climb to 5400 feet, and then a climbing right turn, direct the Drake Viewer, and on the outbound Drake 305 radial to 9000 feet, then a right turn, direct the Great the Drake VOR and hold. And approach 522 kilo off, kilo off, I request uh, vectors so to find Looks ILS good, glides up there at hump deep, 7,900 feet, Roger. looking really good. That's the approach briefing completed. We'll set up activate vectors to final. All right, so we'll do, we'll split the screen here so we have the chart on the left, beautiful.
Yeah, we're not going to get the field. And approach to Romeo Fox shot. I don't think we're going to get the field at 9100 feet. Do you mind setting stuff to the ILS? It's at the Romeo Fox shot. Roger, sir. Uh, stand by. Okay. Two more Fox shot. Just fighting 270. I have to take you to the other side of the local. You're too close now. Just take the other end from this side. Okay, no worries. Two room Fox shot fighting 290. 290 heading, here we go, turn me up on. And approach, turn me up Fox. I'd call it a broken layer at, I don't know, probably 8,500 feet or so. Two room Fox shot, watch, appreciate the report, sir. Yep, we ain't getting the airport with that off our left hand side. Two run Fox shot, just so you know why I'm breaking you back out, taking you back to the north, because we've got to have you intercepted localizer three miles outside of Humpty there. Yeah, no worries, all good. Uh, two run Fox shot, appreciate the heads up. Yeah. Two run Fox shot, turn right in zero one zero. Zero one zero, two run Fox shot. Just to resequence the approach, because it kind of got unsequenced there. Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot, continue right turning 030. 030, Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot. Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot, turn right in 090. 090, 2 Romeo Foxtrot. Citation 2 Kilo Alpha, you're 5 miles from Humpty, turn right heading 180, maintain 9100 to your established crit on us, doing 2 left approach. Alright, I just want to make sure you said 2 Kilo Alpha, it's Romeo Fox, 180 heading, go to the ILS, 2 on left. 180, thank you. I broke, uh, you broke up there, you said 180 heading, clear the approach to Romeo Fox. The 2 Romeo Fox, I turn right heading at 200, maintain 9100 to establish crit on us, doing 2 left approach. You got it, 200 in the heading, 9100 to establish crit approach, 2 on left, 2 Romeo Fox, Strat. Approach armed, loke, loke capture, beautiful. Ah, nice vector there. You guys good. Nice, nice vector. So there's two rover fox shots, sorry for the confusion there. I was looking at his call sign, trying to talk to you. You can switch up to tower now, one, two, five, point three. Have a good night, sir. Hey, no worries, have a great night. Thanks for the help, Jeremy of Fox, see ya. Flaps 15, speed checks. Prescott Terra, good evening, Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot, ILS 2 1 left. Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot, Prescott Terra, good evening, wind 2307, runway 2 1 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 2 1 left, thanks, to Romeo Foxtrot. Autopilot's Auto coming off. Pilot. And flying the airplane. Okay, we're clear to land. 2 1 left. The landing light verifies that. Looking good. Here down. Landing checks. Gear down. 3 green. No red. Below 161. Flaps 35. Your dampener is away. Before landing checks are complete, verifying again. Gear down. 3 green. No red. And we are clear to land. But, correction, Cirrus 2, Kilo off. I didn't get a response if you answered me. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, we're clear for the ILS 21 left, and we would like flight following back to Scottsdale. And we've got that traffic in sight ahead of us, 2 Kilo off. Cirrus 2, Kilo off, Roger. Run like 2 and clear for the option, and left turn approved. 2 one clear for the option, left turn approved, 2 Kilo off. 500. Checks. That stiff little crosswind. Minimums, minimums. Landing. Two hundred. One hundred. 
fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Reset. it. Speed breaks out. Citation to room. If I try to turn left at Echo, right on Delta Taxi to Cutter this frequency. Good night. Hey, thanks so much. Echo and then uh, Delta into Cutter. Jeremy and Foster, have a great night. We'll see ya. See ya. All right, Delta, Echo, Cutter. Welcome to uh, Prescott. All right, we're clear. Always nice controllers here at Prescott. And uh, yeah, clear left, clear right. Welcome, hope you enjoyed the video. That was a really nice, interesting approach. A couple different things happened there. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see everyone very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. See you.